Hey, this is Ash Ketchum. You're watching Lee's channel. Don't forget to watch them all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Trafalgar Lee, and today I'm going to show you how to get the shiny charm. So first of all, what you need to do is complete your Pokedex. All I need to do mine is Dragonite. So I'm going to evolve Dragonite. And there we go. And now that we've done that, we can head over to the Pokedex and I will show you. What you need is just the original 150 Pokemon. You do not need any Mythicals. So Mew, Meltan or Melmetal do not actually count towards the Shiny Charm. So all you need is from Bulbasaur through to Mewtwo. So for those who don't know, the only way to acquire Mew in this game is to buy the Pokeball Plus and it comes basically inside it. And then you can transfer it to the game. To get Melmetal, you can only evolve that in Pokemon Go itself by collecting 400 candies. So either using the mystery boxes by trading Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go or by completing the research tasks and getting enough candy to evolve. And that's the only way to actually evolve it because it will not evolve in game. So what you want to do, once completing your Pokedex, you want to fly over to Celadon City. Once arriving in Celadon City, if you head over to Game Freak Headquarters, Kingler has got trapped. Head up to the third floor and you will find Game Freak. If you speak to this guy here, this is the game director. He will tell you congratulations, blah blah blah. He will give you your diploma and then afterwards gives you a special gift and you get the shiny charm. And it's pretty much been this way since the beginning of the shiny charm. You catch all the Pokemon in the Pokedex, usually doesn't include mythicals and then speak to the director and he'll give you shiny charm and that is pretty much that getting the shiny charm dramatically increases your odds of finding shiny pokemon and pretty much brings it down from 1 in 4000 to 1 in 1300 just for your base odds of shi finding shinies um, with 31 combo and the lure it brings it down from 341 to 273 so there's pretty good odds considering how it used to be in the past so this game is very heavily focused on shiny hunting and catching pokemon rather than the battling aspect of the game one other thing you can do after acquiring the shiny charm is to head to your hometown of pallet and speak to professor oak and he'll take a look and 152 out of 152 perfect pokedex and that is pretty much it he won't give you anything for it but yay so i hope you found this video helpful and uh I'll see you again next time. Peace out.